So today I am going to be showing you guys a little look into my day-to-day -day work life. I have been filming very random vlog content over the last month or so and I compiled all of the clips into one video and I'm sharing it with you guys today. So this is gonna be long enough. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking and I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Hello everybody. Right now I'm sitting on my office floor. This is definitely going to be a pretty busy week. If you didn't know, I do have multiple businesses that I run and take care of pretty much all by myself. I have my YouTube channel. I also have Jamie Page Doodles, which is my art stationery shop. And then I have my other project that I'm working on, which I know I'm so annoying. I haven't said what it was because it's obviously a secret and I'm not going to say what it is until the time is right. But I am working on something else that does also take up a lot of my time. So right now I'm working on something for Jamie Page Doodles. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up, which means I released a Valentine's Day sticker collection and I am so obsessed with it. It's probably my favorite collection that I've released thus far. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I literally just received it half an hour ago. I should have done an unboxing on camera, but I ended up doing an unboxing on Instagram live on my Jamie Page Doodles instagram so for this collection i have three different stickers i have two single stickers and a sticker sheet i have my self love club sticker this is so cute because this is completely transparent so it actually looks like this it's completely transparent in all the areas where there's no line art and so i stuck it onto my laptop i haven't yet done a sticker with like this type of negative space so i was a little bit nervous with how it would turn out but i just love it i think it looks really cool especially because the line art is kind of like a gradient for the valentine's collection i also didn't want it to be too kitschy i really wanted to focus on something you know a little bit more sassy a little bit more fun this is a love potion juice box this is probably my favorite sticker i've ever made i just love everything about it it says that it's 97 percent effective on the side and that it's freshly squeezed then i also made a sticker sheet and i wanted to go with an anti-valentine's day theme so all of these stickers do have that kind of uh, vibe to them we have a sad love songs cassette tape which is another one of my favorites a dear me i love you love me a little thing of cookie dough of course left on red wine bottle a love potion but in a little bit more of a classic depiction of one a love spells book and then a broken heart club heart and i did do a pre-order of these so i have a ton of orders that i already have to start filling so we're probably going to get to that today as well so this is my new little sticker station i have my storage that has all of my single stickers this guy over here actually peels these packing stickers for me which is the most amazing thing ever <laughs> best invention and i thank tiktok for that one and then this is where i have all of my sticker sheets so let's put all of these in here i am feeling a lot of anxiety right now i just want to be really real with you guys i have a lot that i have to do today i just took a peek at my email and i have like eight emails that i need to respond to right now so i'm gonna go do my emails but then i have to prep because i am filming a video today too so there's a lot and plus it's a snowstorm outside you literally can't even see outside it's so snowy so i'm actually trying to get a new product off the ground for my art shop which is going to be a tote bag i really wanted to try and get the tote bags printed locally in montreal just so that i could support a local business so i found this awesome local uh, screen printer and we've been in contact back and forth and it's very possible that i could actually get something by next week which is very exciting so that's what i have to deal with on email plus a couple other things and then we got to get ready to start filming okay finished doing the emails actually got a lot of good news so that's always nice and very different from what i normally get which is typically just a lot of mini fires that i have to take out so now it's time to film a youtube video now typically when i get to my office i already know what i'm going to be filming but today i actually didn't and i figured i would just kind of figure it out when i got here and i decided that i wanted to film a cream like a full face of using cream makeup tutorial because the last video that i did was a cream showdown so i feel like it makes sense for this to follow that video so after i decide what video i want to film what i typically will do is i'll just pull the products from my little collection over here just so everything is right in front of me obviously it just makes the most sense so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pull all the products now
officially done filming my video that actually went really well very smoothly a lot of the times when i start filming it takes me a long time to kind of warm up and get good at actually speaking i've been doing this for eight years but i still kind of get I don't want to say camera shy, but it still gets a little bit difficult to film some days. But I honestly think because I've been vlogging today, I've been warmed up already. Here's the look that I did. Again, full face of creams. A little bit of a mishap with my concealer, but it's all good. So it's currently 2 p.m. I haven't really eaten anything today. Um, I had avocado toast this morning, but that's really it. So I'm actually going to order some lunch, and I'm going to also start fulfilling orders for Jamie Page Beauty. Sorry, for Jamie Page Doodles. And I'm actually really looking forward to doing it. I, I genuinely love fulfilling orders. I just find it really relaxing and fun. I always put on a podcast and kind of just chill while I do it. So that's what we're gonna be doing for the next couple hours. I wanna get them all done today and I have maybe about 150 to do. So let's do it. So my first step to fulfilling the orders is to print out all the packing slips. So I typically do them in batches of 50 just so it's not super overwhelming. So first 50 are gonna be printed out now. So to make things go a little bit faster, I look at all the orders that I have in front of me and I basically put everything the person ordered on top of the packing slip so I can just grab it and then pack it super easily. So for example, a nuke ordered a sticker sheet bundle, a bitter bitch single sticker, a can't see the hater single sticker, and then a Valentine's Day bundle. So I need to grab all of that from my stock and get it ready for her package. So the sticker sheet bundle includes a plant lover sticker sheet, a cozy vibe sticker sheet, a breakfast person sticker sheet, a makeup lover sticker sheet. She got a Bitter Bitch Perfume, can't see the haters, and then the Valentine's Day Bundle, which is my brand new bundle, very exciting. So we have the sticker sheets, as well as the Self Love Club Love Potion. So to package the order, I put everything in a little plastic sleeve. I pop in some freebies, so we have the Jamie Doodle. <laughs> this guy as well. It's a little phone that has a cute little message on it. And then I write a thank you card. These are what my new thank you cards look like. It says Jamie Page Doodles on the front. And then I write a little note up here and then there's a little message over there. And then I have this new contraption over here that actually peels my stickers for me and it's the most amazing thing ever. And this is my first time using it. Oh my God, this is so good. And I close it up with a Doodles with Love sticker. And that is what her little package looks like. So now only 149 more to go. <laughs> Oh my god so it is 8 p.m and i just got back home i would have still been at the office easily if it wasn't for the 8 p.m curfew which is what we have here in montreal i got all of my orders done and i'm so proud of myself i, I was packing orders for six hours i'm like shaking because i had caffeine a little bit too late in the day and I'm not done working. I need to start editing my video for tomorrow and I also need to answer some more emails. So I'll probably be working up until nine tonight. And that's my work day for today. I'm gonna sign off because I'll just be on my computer for the rest of the night. Tomorrow I'll go and ship out all of the packages and then all of my orders will be done and I'll be ready for, for the next round whenever that, that happens. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I just woke up. It's 8 30 and i have to get right to work i have to start editing 
my video for today because I never got to it yesterday because it just became too late and I was just too tired. So I'm going to be editing this entire morning until this video is done because I need to upload it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Bye. <laughs> perfect opportunity to try this out for the very first time. So it's currently 11 a.m. I just finished uploading my video and it's, it's just processing right now. So I'm just basically gonna have to make it go live when it's done processing. But now I have to rush to my office, finish packing like the, the couple orders that I received last night. And then I need to go ship everything out, but I need to do all of that before 2 p.m. because I have a meeting at two. So I have about three hours to do that. Should be fine, should be more than enough time. And then tonight, I'm actually really excited because I am meeting with a, a friend of mine who will potentially be kind of my assistant. I don't wanna say assistant, I feel like that's kind of a weird label to put on her, but basically I need help. <laughs> Last night I had almost an anxiety attack, like I was having heart palpitations, I was so stressed. There's just a lot on my shoulders right now and I'm truly just carrying everything on my own. I really pride myself on being able to do a lot on my own and I enjoy being able to do a lot on my own and kind of having my hand in, in everything, but at the same time, I am only one person and I can't do everything even though I think I can. So a friend of mine said she was interested, which is super exciting, so I'm meeting with her tonight to kind of just discuss what I'm looking for and to discuss my expectations. So I'm hoping that she's gonna be able to help me with packing orders and I'm also potentially, potentially going to see if she would be interested in doing rough cuts for my YouTube videos, which is a big thing for me. I'm such a control freak, especially when it comes to my YouTube videos and the way that I, I do things and especially the way that I edit. And I've dabbled in the idea of hiring an editor for a long time, but I just never did it just because I never felt like the fit was right or it was the right timing or I just felt like I was able to handle it and it just wasn't necessary. She actually is a freelance video editor, so it really does make sense. And I, I feel like if she rough cuts the videos and I kind of put on the finishing touches, it's not going to lose the essence of what my videos are all about, which I think it sometimes happen when somebody does hire an editor, you just lose the person's editing style in the first place. And sometimes it's not really a good thing. And sometimes it is a good thing. It kind of depends. Also, I really need to go grocery shopping. <laughs> and I don't even know when I'm gonna have time to do that. Okay, I finished fulfilling the orders. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make some PR packages. Basically, I'm gonna just be sending um, some stickers and stuff to a couple of my social media YouTube friends. So we're gonna make some packages. I'm trying to do things that I think that they would actually like. So I'm not just giving them everything just to give them everything. Like for Jess and Julia, I'm giving, I gave them everything because I really think they're gonna like all these doodles. But for Alana, I feel like she's a little bit pickier. So I'm not gonna give her absolutely every single doodle that because I, I just don't think she's gonna like it. Oh, I think she will like the breakfast person though. Breakfast person and plant lover, I think she'll be into. Bad bitches cry too, for sure. Can't see the haters, for sure. I'm gonna give her an A++. I'm gonna send some to Sam, too. I think Sam will obviously like the plants. I think she would be into cozy vibes. Breakfast person, for sure. Makeup lover, definitely. I'm gonna give her a self-love club. I'm gonna give her two A++, because she says it all the time. And can't see the haters. I'm also shooting my shot and sending some stickers to a, a podcast host that I really love. She's a P.O. Box and a lot of these stickers actually remind me of her, which is weird because I don't actually know her, but I feel like I do because I listen to her podcast every week. Either way, I'm sending it to her and I hope that she actually gets them and actually enjoys them. I think that's gonna be it for now. I'll probably send more in the future, but I only asked a couple friends to begin with just because I didn't wanna get rid of too much stock to be honest with you. Okay, I'm gonna package up all of these and then we're going to get ready to go send everything out. I just love the difference in my greetings. We have my dearest Jess, Julia. Hey bitch. Alrighty, all the packages are good to go. Time to ship them out. What's up guys, good morning. Waking up a little bit later today than I normally would. It's about 8.20, I literally just woke up like mm, three minutes ago, so. Still very groggy, still very puffy. 
but I have a lot of work to do. I've actually been dealing with some pretty bad anxiety lately and I haven't really dealt with anxiety at this level in many, many, many years. I would say over the last two weeks, it's just been really bad where I just have this like horrible weight in my chest for the entire day. I have like no appetite. I'll be like shaking from random parts of the day and it's just not really for any reason. It's just kind of manifesting itself. And I just wanna be honest with you. I mean, I'm not telling you this so you can feel bad for me. It is what it is. I'm gonna work through it today. I'm really not worried. Um, it's not horrible, but it's just there. And um, I just am going to try and make it go away. <laughs> I have a video that I filmed yesterday that I need to post today that I need to edit. Um, so I have a lot to do. I haven't even gotten started with that. It's the haul and review of the products that I got during my shop with me from Sephora. I need to get started now because I do also have a meeting at 11 actually with L'Oreal and it's a Zoom meeting. So I have to look not like this. See you in, I guess like two hours. It's been two hours. I cannot even believe how quickly time went by. My timing though is impeccable. It is 10, 16 and I just finished doing the rough cut for the video. I still need to do a couple things. I need to add background music and I also need to make the thumbnail um, and then I'm gonna be ready to upload. But now that it's 10, 15, I actually have to get ready for this meeting because it is a Zoom meeting. Okay, I'm just moved to my office floor. This is where I've been doing my makeup every single day. For, I don't know why, honestly. It's just mainly because I have really good natural light in here and I have my everyday makeup bag just sitting in front of the window. And I also often will do my Instagram lives right over here so i just have a bunch of makeup just kind of surrounding this area so i'm going to just really quickly do just a very light makeup just so i look somewhat more put together um i didn't even shower yet today but we're just not gonna do that <laughs> i did shower last night so it's fine for my base i'm just gonna use this tatcha the dewy serum i really just want my skin to look nice and fresh and for my foundation, I'm going to use my Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint in the shade Light Medium. I've been really liking this for every day. This is the new reformulated version. It's been a really nice, just very lightweight product. Super quick and easy to apply. For my bronzer, I'm going to use my Quo Cool Contour Bronzing Powder. I find that when I'm really just doing a very simple look, I really like to focus very heavily on the skin. I don't even really do anything on the eyes. As long as my skin is looking really fresh, that's all I really need. My go-to blush lately has been this grapefruit color from Laura Mercier. It's super, super, super bright. And typically I wouldn't really go towards a color like this because it's just a little bit too bright, but I've been really enjoying like a pretty intense blush look lately. And I like to also sweep whatever's left over on my brush on my lids just to kind of tie it in in that area. It looks a little bit 80s right now, but I promise it comes together. And I even sweep it across the bridge of my nose, not the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, especially when it's a really bright color. I don't like it to be just on the cheeks because then it looks really obvious when you place it on other areas of the face. It just brings it all together. It makes it look a little bit more natural. I'm gonna take my Auric uh, Morganite. This has been my go-to everyday highlighter lately. I find, especially on like Zoom meetings and Zoom calls, highlighter, looks really beautiful <laughs> it kind of just like i don't know makes your face come alive mm, i like this combo it's looking good okay for my eyes i'm gonna curl my lashes and put on some roller lash mascara oh my god my hands are shaking from my anxiety right now i need to relax normally i wouldn't really film on a day like today but i think this just shows a very realistic view of what my days can sometimes look like. I can be a really hot mess mentally, but somehow I still get a lot of work done. <laughs> you know, there are also some days where I don't work through it and I just kind of succumb to the feeling and it, it's hard to get out of bed, but some days I just don't have a choice and I need to do a lot. And this is one of those days. And I'm happy to show that to you guys as vulnerable as it may make me feel. I do think it is really important. And to be very honest, the busier I am, the better I feel because my mind isn't just focused on what's going through my mind. Like I'm focused on, on things that are happening in front of me, which is very, very helpful. I've really been liking this Natasha Denona lipstick in I Need a Nude. 
oh sorry it's it's the i need a nude collection but it's in the shade Am amorosa it's almost like the color of my lips just more even so my makeup is done that took about 11 minutes if i wasn't talking to the camera i probably would have been able to get that done in like five okay time to take off my sam smith t-shirt and my dynamite robe and let's uh put on an actual outfit okay i think today i'm going to pull out my vintage houndstooth blazer and i kind of want to wear this with like a black turtleneck i feel like that'll look really chic on uh, on camera oh my god i love this outfit so much I'm kind of upset that I haven't worn this blazer in so long because it's so freaking cute. This blazer also looks very kind of 90s with like the shoulder pads um, and I feel like it goes well with the vibe of my hair, which does have a very kind of like 90s feel to it. I am going to put on a pair of hoops though because I feel like an outfit is never complete without a good pair of earrings. So I am going to put on this little pearl guy. I really love a good statement mismatched earring moment. And I'll typically put the statement earring where I put my hair behind my ear. So I'm always on the left side. Look how freaking cute this is. This is actually from Dior. I know, very fancy. I bought this when I was in Rome, Italy. It was a splurge moment. And on the other side, I'm going to put this little star guy. I actually got ready very quickly, a lot quicker than expected. I have this like special gift actually of getting ready very very quickly i'm very good at it so i think what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna maybe chill just like relax until the meeting is about to start so i could catch my breath a little bit here you guys can actually see the entire outfit very very cute my boyfriend actually also said that i looked very 80s which is really the look that i'm going for i'm gonna set up for the meeting now i actually have this ring light that i like to use for zoom calls because it just makes me look really well lit so i'm gonna just put it basically right in front of my computer all right sitting back in my chair i've got my glass of water which is always very necessary you know <laughs> i've been doing these meetings for a very long time this is nothing new for me and i've met with plenty of brands very important <laughs> people and no matter what kind of meeting it is whether it's something small or something big I get the nervous poops, you know? <laughs> oh wow, I'm really letting it go completely in this video. I just get so nervous talking to people that I maybe don't really know so well. Even people that I do know well, I get nervous. Someone's grumbling a little bit right now. I just never know when to join a Zoom meeting. Should I be one minute early, perfectly on time, or like one minute past the schedule time? Because the worst is when you're the first one there and then people file in and you're the one greeting them. <laughs> it's so weird. Hi. Hi, Hi everybody. Nice job. Thank you very much. And we're done. That was a super quick meeting. It was only about a half an hour. Basically, we just spoke about some of the new launches. A lot of their new stuff is actually very much up my alley. They have these beautiful new, like sheer shiny lipsticks that I'm really excited about. Cream eyeshadows, which I'm very excited about. I'm taking this blazer off because I'm hot. I actually feel a lot better right now. I don't know why, maybe it was that meeting that was causing so much anxiety for literally no reason at all, who knows. Um, I am going to finish off this video. So video is now being uploaded. I wanna wait until it's completely live before I leave because I just wanna make sure that everything is going smoothly um, and I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's figure that out. My boyfriend just did a very good thing and got some fresh bagels yesterday. Obviously we love our bagels. If you've never had a Montreal bagel, you are missing out. These are the best bagels in the world and you can't tell me any differently. Montreal bagels really are very different from other cities. We have a whole different bagel making process that just makes them so damn good. Yes, I am using a bread knife to cut a tomato. Don't come for me. We got our cream cheese. This one, ew, has a hair in it. It looks like mine. This is a chive cream cheese, obviously the superior cream cheese. We're gonna load up this baby. We're gonna put the tomatoes on top. Nice three slices, salt, pepper. Close her up. Cut her in half. She's beautiful. Time to eat. There are very few things in life that make me happier than a good bagel.
So I'm here at my office. As I mentioned, I am feeling a little bit anxious right now, just a little bit overwhelmed. And I do find that when I feel this way, when I just feel like there's so much that I need to do, I like to write everything down physically in my journal. So this right here is my little bullet journal. It's actually from Amanda Rach Lee. It's such a beautiful little journal. I love it so much. This journal is basically just my brain dump. When I feel like my brain is overloaded with information, I just write things down in here. And honestly, a lot of the time I don't even refer back to my journal. Like if I plan on my week, it's, it's actually pretty rare that I look at what <laughs> I actually planned which is kind of crazy let me know in the comments if you guys do the same thing for me just writing out what I have to do is therapeutic in and of itself and it kind of just organizes my brain so I'm trying to get ahead of the game and I'm planning out my week next week so I just made my little weekly spread this is how I typically do it um, I basically just split up the days in these large chunks and then I put numbers which correspond to the time in the middle. And I basically write down my to-dos on one side and my larger tasks on the other. And then of course I decorated the spread with some Jamie Page Doodles stickers. That's the Cozy Vibe sticker sheet, obviously. One of my favorite sticker sheets. This little sticker sheet gives me just very relaxing vibes, which is exactly what I need right now. So I basically worked on my YouTube stuff all morning and I'm gonna jump back to it a little bit later this afternoon. But right now I gotta work on Jamie Page Doodles things because I have a lot going on for Jamie Page Doodles. So now I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about how I've learned how to draw on my iPad on Procreate because this is a question that I get very, very, very often. Um, and I say all the time, I've learned through YouTube videos practice and also Skillshare. And this portion of the video is in partnership with Skillshare. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, it's essentially just a learning community. And it's a place that you can go to learn new skills. There's basically a video on like every single topic, whether it's drawing or business or photography. And actually years ago, when I first discovered Skillshare, I started using it for photography in particular because I wanted to learn more about how to actually use my camera properly. And then obviously more recently, I started learning more about digital drawing and how to use procreate and even though i've been using procreate for a couple months now i definitely know how to use it every single time i take a new procreate class on skillshare i will learn something new i recently took a class called intro to procreate illustrating on the ipad by brooke glazer and even though it's an intro class i still learned so many new things like for example if you want to use a reference photo when you're drawing you're actually able to create a split screen on the ipad which is something that i didn't even know you can do until I watch this class. So if you're interested in trying a new skill, learning something new, maybe you're interested also in digital drawing, then you can try out Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. And then after that, it's only about $10 a month. And like I said, I get asked all the time what some of my favorite digital drawing Skillshare classes are. And so I'll link some of my favorites down below for you guys to check out in case you're interested. So I'll have all that info down there, but thank you so much to Skillshare for supporting my channel. So I'm currently in the midst of planning my newest collection, which is going to be the Celestial Astrology Collection. And I'm so excited. This is going to be my biggest drop yet. And I also made a new product, which is so exciting. And I'm supposed to be receiving it today. I'm waiting for the UPS guy to come. So every time I hear something outside of my office, I'm like, UPS, is that you? So I'll give you a little preview of everything that I'm working on. And then we're actually gonna draw together because I wanna do one more doodle for the collection and I have a really cute idea and I can't wait to work on it. So the collection is gonna consist of four single stickers. We're gonna be drawing the fourth one together. Um, I also have a sticker sheet and then I have a single sticker for every single zodiac sign. So 12 different stickers. Plus I have a single sticker that is a freebie that's gonna be going in every single order while supplies last. And last but not least, I have a brand new product which I'm so excited about and it's a notepad. <laughs> So the first thing that I drew in the collection was the sticker sheet and it's just so pretty. We have obviously planets, a moon, shooting stars, a little um, like crystal ball, a star tarot card, this little hand that's like kind of holding a floating sun and it says sun baby and then a little text art thing that says in the moon. So this is my first single sticker. I'm obsessed with this guy. It's a little alien. And there's a little sign in a spaceship that says mission, find friend. And then I drew a little <laughs> picture of him with his alien friend. I mean, come on. And what's really cool is that the sticker company that I'm working with this, this go around actually provides special effects 
for their stickers and I have a little sample pack over here so it's gonna be really cool is that all the single stickers are going to have some type of special effects so this spaceship guy is going to have a holographic effect are you kidding me so the actual spaceship is almost gonna look like metal but hollow so even cooler then I have this design which is just a bunch of planets and it says I need space then I have this guy which is really simple but really cute it's a little star doodle and it says reach for the stars in different colors uh, around it I have all of the zodiac signs so I'm not gonna show you all of them Here's a little preview of four. We have Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. And so what's gonna be cool about these is the writing is going to have the effect. So only, for example, on the Leo, only the red part is going to have the effect. And I asked um, my Jamie Page Doodles followers on Instagram stories what finish they wanted to see for this sticker. And overwhelmingly, Matte Mirror won. It's a little bit more subtle than the other ones, but it's just, just different enough that it's gonna give the the sticker a little bit of like an extra spark for my freebie I drew this pink moon and it has a floral line art. I just thought it was really pretty I just wanted to do something Simple and then last but not least we have the notepad design which Just gets my heart going you guys. It's so adorable. So this is what it looks like. It says to the moon and back at the top You have a little Saturn a little moon at the bottom and then the white part is obviously the part that you could write it and it's going to be four by six which is the same size as the sticker sheet so it's going to be a nice a nice notepad size so that's what i've been working on for jamie page doodles over the last little bit i actually just ordered all of the stickers two days ago and so i'm going to be receiving them hopefully fingers crossed sometime next week i also have another jamie page doodles product here that i've been working on and i can't keep secrets i'm really bad at them especially when i get excited about something and so i'm gonna show you guys a little preview of what it is so this new product is tote bags it's a canvas fabric and it's really nice and thick and then the handles are really nice webbed material so they're very very durable and also very thick so i did already mention this but it was really important for me to find a printer in montreal because i really wanted to support a local business and i am really happy with the company that i found and that i'm working with they're super awesome and the quality of their of their prints are really amazing and so everything is actually going to be made in montreal which is awesome so here are the two designs that i'm going to be using the first one is a classic it's the um, bitter bitch perfume that's basically what started jamie page doodles and it's also one of my best sellers on my store it seems that you guys really really love this design and so of course i had to put it on the tote and it's adorable it looks so freaking cute so you can let everybody know that you are a bitter bitch <laughs> and then my next design is another play off of another design that i have in my shop which is the self-love club sticker which was also very very popular and i wanted to do a self-love club tote but in a little bit of a different design and so i did this guy it has the self-love club text and it's a gradient from dark purple it's a kind of a light lilac it's this really fun just like wiggly font and i just think it's really fun so these aren't available yet i'm going to be launching them after the celestial collection for sure um and i'm going to be doing it as a pre-order because honestly i just don't know what to expect i don't know how many people actually are interested in these totes and i don't want to under order or over order and to also be really frank these are expensive like they're expensive to make and so i don't want to like potentially over order and then just lose a lot of money it's just kind of the reality of things so i'm going to be doing a pre-order and uh if you want to be updated when that goes live just follow me on instagram at jamie page doodles and i will be letting you know i'm going to show you guys a little bit of my drawing process i am going to draw a moon juice i was very much inspired by my love potion juice box that i did for valentine's day it's probably one of my favorite doodles that i've done i just think this is the cutest thing ever there's something about a juice box that just gets <laughs> gets me really happy i don't know why enjoy the process
Okay, so I'm gonna stop for now with this drawing. I'm definitely not done, not even close. I still need to finesse it more, add a couple more elements. So now I figured I would do something a little fun because I do have a whole bag here. Oh my gosh, just really happy of uh, dynamite clothes that I just got in the mail. So I wanted to show you guys all the pieces because they're all very, very cute. So let's do a quick try and haul. Okay, the first thing that I have here is this incredible sweater. I love this so much. I think I'm actually gonna wear it for the rest of the day. It's a really pretty um, pastel green. I don't have anything like this in this color. And I love a bright color in the winter time. It always just makes things a little bit less dreary. So cute. Okay, next we have this oversized blouse. It's this really pretty kind of off-white, creamy, kind of taupe color. Um, and it is also satiny and honestly very comfortable. Feels like I'm wearing pajamas. We need to take a moment for this one. See, this is when I wish that I can actually go places because I have nowhere to wear a top that's cute like this. <laughs> it has ruching on the arms and on the bodice. It's actually a very flattering top. This is a 10 on 10 for me. Another adorable piece. This is actually really cool. I love this cutout situation. It's a little bit different. Typically the shoulder cutouts would be on the shoulder itself, but I think this makes it just a little bit more modern although i feel like this could be a little bit difficult with the bra because you're just always going to see your strap here and it just really ruins the effect so let's pretend that my bra straps are not there so they sent over new loungewear i have this light blue sweater three quarter zip and i have the matching sweats over here which i'm not going to put on because i don't feel like taking my pants off right now um, but this would be a really really cute set i don't have any colors like this in my loungewear collection don't get me wrong I have a lot of sweats, but nothing quite like this. Okay, you guys, this is their knit collection. <sighs> so comfy. This is honestly such a cute upgrade to the typical sloppy sweats, which is what I wear 90% of the time when I'm lounging at home because this is still so comfortable, but obviously it's a little bit more chic and put together than a typical sweat set. I'm just really into this trend of like everything that you're wearing is the same color, same material thing. I just think it's really, really chic. So this is their new like cozy collection. I'm not 100% sure what this fabric is called, but it's basically like a blanket. It's super, super soft, very, very cozy. So just like the other collection I just showed you guys, it's the same idea. The tank top, which I'm not wearing right now, but I have it right here, the pants, and like the bathrobe cardigan are all in the same fabric. And let me tell you, it feels like you are walking around in a blanket. I do already have a pink version of this set and I have been wearing it nonstop and they sent over the cream version and kind of like brownie taupe version as well. You guys need to get your hands on this if you're able to because it's unreal. And might I add, it is very similar to the Skims collection, so. Just putting that out there. Okay, so the question is, do I keep this on now for the rest of the day? I feel like I'm too comfortable to be able to be productive, so I'm gonna have to change, but I'm putting that green sweater back on. So I have been editing some videos over the last hour. Figured you guys wouldn't wanna watch me just sitting in my computer like this. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but now I gotta pack some orders because I have just a couple um, that I've received over the last day or two. So I gotta get them done. So when I don't have hundreds of orders to take care of at once, I really take my time in decorating the packages. So I put some washi tape. Then I actually have some extra stickers that I'm not selling because I just wasn't happy with the quality of them, but I've been using them on my packages so that they don't go to waste. So I put one sticker on the front and then I also put a little doodle mill guy. So cute. And then I put the address, but obviously I'm not gonna show that. Um, and I also put some washi tape near the opening of the letter too. Okay, brief intermission because we just got a very exciting package. These are the notepads. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's open it up, I can't even wait. Oh my God, I'm nervous. What if they're not good? Oh my God. You guys. Look at how cute it looks. They're really perfect. I love how they're printed. They look great. I also asked them to make the corners rounded just to add a little bit of a, you know, different detail to the notepad, which is typically obviously just square with points. I like the, the rounded look. Oh my God, they look great. 
Yay. All right, guys, I'm back home. It's 6 p.m. It's time to finish off this vlog. I need to basically just edit for the rest of the night and that's and that's my day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed seeing a little bit of my workflow. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more like this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you wanna join the fam. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.